Hello, welcome everybody to this new stream. My name is Nacho Riesco and today we are gonna make a ring with the same concept of the whole week about the Star Wars, you know, the next, uh, I think it's the next uh, Thursday is going to be the May the 4th, so we will, there will be a special event here on the Pixel Love It channel, so, and today we are going to work on another uh, Star Wars theme design. This is what I got on my screen, and let me know if you can listen to me well first. If you have the chance, I will check in my side here. If the music is not too loud, maybe for me it's going to be a bit too loud. Maybe I'm gonna put some more quiet music. Clicking here to start working. And uh, let's see what we can do. As I have been saying, you know that the, if you go to the to the Pixologic uh, website you go to the zero central there will be here clicking here you can post here your works and the thematical of the whole we has been trying to sculpt or sculpted based from the star wars designs and i have been thinking about what i can do and this is, uh, you can see here how many already great works. Uh, a lot of Zebra's artists has been posting. I will post mine at the end of the stream. And um, yeah, having, as I said before, how I was thinking this morning about what could I do? Uh, about uh, Star Wars kind of design, and, and I want to use this helmet. This is very well known on the latest Mandalorian uh, show, and this is a design that I love. This kind of helmets come from the armorer, and uh, well, we're gonna try to create a ring based from this helmet design. I'm not going to create a replica because we're gonna try to grab the idea, to grab the concept, the design, the existing design, and we're gonna start thinking about who can bring this design into a ring design. So, and this is what I already got. I've been working this morning on this, so you can see this is a quick blocking. Let me see first. Okay, it looks like the chat is working. Okay, it looks like everything is working. I'm gonna put the music a little bit, not too loud. I see this now. This here, not that much. And uh, okay, let's come back to this again. So I've been working on it this morning, trying to make a quick blogging of a ring because the idea is not just for to start creating the, the helmet itself and then put it on a band and then we have a ring. Most of the time, of the time it doesn't work. So we need to think about how to make it comfortable to wear and uh, uh, that it looks nice on the, on the finger. It's not just putting something on a band or on a ring, an existing ring, and that's it. So that's the reason why I was thinking about which is going to be the best position. That's the reason why I have this kind of angle. It is not straight like this. If not, we are going to have this point. Maybe this is sticks too far from the finger. It could, could be even dangerous when you are wearing the ring and it's going to be not very comfortable when, for example when you are wearing a jacket or something the, um, the cloth can uh, let's see how to say it it can hang or uh, can, can damage others with this uh, 
peak here. That's the reason why I turn, I try to turn it down to try to work in this, this angle. And in terms of uh, wearability, I think it's going to be much better. And at this moment, it is not very really clear for me if I'm going to make it hollow or I'm going to create the opening for the eyes as an open space or I'm going to make it hollow inside. Let's see what comes out. At this moment, I have no idea that I want to make, I'm going to make. So the main, the main idea behind my streaming is not just being here sculpting something with zebras, of course, but it, I like to put more effort when I'm explaining about the designing process uh, to make things with sense in terms of uh, creating a jewelry piece. So it's not just a matter for being sculpting something. So I, I like to put as more effort as possible um, on the designing process, on the designing process, on the designing concepts. Mm. You can see if I turn off the light boolean, this is how the, the helmet is gonna is gonna lay on the on the finger. And also I have these two hands. I'm gonna turn this on and here where you can see how it can it's gonna be it's going to fit on the finger he's going to lay on the finger of course it still needs to work a lot it hasn't yet the final shapes but um, just to, to for knowing that uh, the rain is going to be okay on the finger i think it's a good habit a good option for having this kind of scanned uh, meshes and for just for checking how it works on hand so i have two hands one for one finger and for the other finger and this here you can see very clearly what i was talking about before because now this this part of the the helmet laid almost in this uh articulation of the finger and this part of the the, the helmet is going to be closer to the knuckle but not too much but i think as it is I think it should work as a, as a jewelry piece. So then we're gonna start working on, on this idea. Let's hide this. I didn't say it before, but that, uh, you have any questions, comments, don't hesitate to send your comment question. I will be glad or help you as more as I can. I'm gonna try to pay as more attention on the chat and uh, Let's see what comes out. Uh, this is just for the blocking, just for ch checking how it works. You can see, and I'm gonna try also to try to blend the helmet with the band of the ring. With I'm gonna try to use some lines that start from here till the bottom of the of the band. Let's see, let's see. That's some ideas I already have in mind, but they are not 100% uh, uh, approved or or ready for being applied to the to the surface to the to the design but let's see and i'm gonna close this folder and i already have this another blocking because i'm gonna start working on trying to create a helmet with from this position 100 percent vertical i think it's going to be easier for me because if not we're gonna have problem with the perspective maybe uh, because i also i forgot to mention before I already did this uh, three planes attach different images for each plane just for checking how it works so it or how it should work like this and like this it's gonna be something more or less something like this just for having a good reference whenever we are creating the composition of the of the of the ring just for knowing that we are creating something that it is not going to be 100% precise or exactly the same from as the original helmet, but we should try to keep the essence. Uh, but it, it has to be recognizable. Hey, money, design with money, how are you doing? Yeah, I already post 
them you mention it i i already already posted the final images of the octopus i was working on on my previous uh streamings you go to here and uh you will be you will be able to see the final piece here with the, the final renders i also did uh a quick animation uh, what is it here a funny quick animation just for just for fun and of course you already have the whole uh, process explained on my previous uh, streamings also you, you go to the zero central you will you will have access to all of the videos here just clicking on the video you will be able to see the whole the whole process till the beginning till the end i was working on it three during three streamings during three days i was not covering the whole project because i was trying to finish it after the latest uh, streaming just adding some more stomp settings creating the render of course but uh, here you will you will be able to see all of them collected in only one in one thread if you go to the zero central thread okay of course but in instagram you maybe here you will be able to see more uh, more um, more images uh, with better resolution and also i have made a behance if you go to Behance and click on with my name so let's go you will see here another project where where you will be able to see bit bigger images better resolution renders also here you have this part of the process and here you, some of the render i was doing during the the designing process and also you will be able to find the videos from zebra's life everything is plain from the beginning till the end as i was saying before give him more in uh, things more important for the designing process instead of uh, sculpting techniques or other stuff related just for technical things inside of Zebras. I prefer to talk about more about the uh, design concepts on my, or manufacturing concepts. Thanks, Fexter. Did you like it? Okay, let's start working on it. And this is going to be how it will looks like. Of course, I think today is I'm I think I'm not going to be able to finish it. I'm sure, maybe. Maybe I will work on it during my free time because in, the, in my next streaming, maybe we will start talking about a completely different thing. Because today I'm going to do this because it's the the theme of the week. So all of the artists was creating uh, Star Wars stuff and sculpting characters and, and many other uh, concepts or designs based from the movies. Um, let's come back to here. I also have, uh, let's uh, I think I can start working on this. I'm gonna hide this axis and this axis because I'm only going to work with this. And I'm gonna use this as just for start uh, taking references maybe let's open this as I, uh, you can see I only have a sphere and a cylinder cut it but this weird and strange topology I think at some point it's going to be necessary to start cleaning the, the topology and uh, my way of working when I'm creating a uh, hard surface as I am not a 3D modeler, I haven't got any background related to 3D modeling. So I come from traditional sculpting or traditional drawing. So my mind thinks in terms of a 3D printing. So I don't care about topology. When I start creating a hard surface, most of the time, not 100% of the time, but most of the time, I try to use as more as I can 
the C modeler or the traditional way of working with managing ages, phases, and or try to make it are more precise as possible. But I haven't got too much experience about that. So at the end, I prefer to start working with Dynamics and start creating uh, using brushes for cutting, sanding, removing the wanted parts that I, I don't need. And that's it. For example, if I need to, if I need to create something, just uh, something like this, in terms of if instead of and start thinking about the surface and start thinking about how can I start managing the polygons or the faces, uh, what my mind thinks, the start thinks about, the start making things with three different blocks, just for having the necessary angles here. So I prefer working with this to start mixing th mixing primitives and mixing forms, mixing shapes instead of start working with polygons with as the traditional way of working on 3d modeling so this could be a different way to, uh, to approach or or to get the same thing but as i said before i prefer to work like this so okay let me let me start thinking about uh, let's start working on this part first because it's the easier part being honest <laughs> Yeah, this is a, a, yeah, a ring idea. Yeah, I like the, the shapes, the forms, and it's going to be very interesting for cast it in copper with this kind of uh, finishing, with a kind of patina on it. It's going to look nice with this. So, okay, let's start working on, on this upper part. If we uh, use the image, the first thing that I see is that the, the design is split in two main parts, the top part and the bottom part, or the face or and the, and the head. And let's start working on, on this. So maybe for this, it's going to be better if uh, we split. I'm going to use this uh, knife, 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 curve brush. Let's uh, cut it like this. Let's see, it is uh, more or less regular. this brush to start adjusting as more as I can but it is not 100% spherical I think I can see it has more something like this shape instead of a spherical shape top let just start checking trying to make it as more regular as possible just always checking all of the uh, the angles and don't forget that we are using a picture took from with a deformation i mean uh, the picture has perspective so we should be careful because we are looking at the picture having to help this ball little this fear more something like this that's the reason why it doesn't match the line I'm trying to follow. I'm trying to follow this line, this reference. My, my line it ends here, but it, but you can see here this is the deformation related to the to the perspective. So you at this point we should be thinking about a start taking reference points instead of trying to copy 100% what we are watching. So we should start thinking uh, as uh, taking references as lines, points, parallel lines, perpendicular lines, uh, reference points, distances from one, one point to the other point, and, and that's it. Because the, just, I mean that the image is just for having it as a reference. Okay, let me, I'm going to make this bigger. Put this here. And this, I'm going to change the topology because this is the topology I'm having. Uh, let's change it. Let's go to C remesher. C remesher. Let's say adapt the size, trying to get us more 
quad shapes as possible. Um, keep the groups is going to be interesting. And uh, smooth groups, I don't want any smooth. So let's click on silver measure. And now this is what we have. We have we're having kind of problems here. Let's click on half. Silver measure again. Silver measure something. The strain is happening here. When you're having this kind of problem, what you, what you can do is to start polish by feature. Just relaxing the mess. And now you can see when you start relaxing the vertexes on the surface, sometimes or most of the times this works because Cirrus is taking a new reference for creating the new new mesh. Let's say something we have something more or less regular with quads and so on. So let's see. Okay, I'm gonna create this uh lines that it has with um, looks like this part are on top okay as i was saying before i think i think it's going to be a good idea instead of trying to create this shape it's going to be difficult or it's going to take more work we can make it longer till here and now we can remove this part with the boolean just removing the unwanted parts so we don't need maybe it's going to be possible or let's try to make it more um, with the standard way of working if we remove this instead of start working with a solid piece i'm gonna remove this cap Let's click on double, let's uh, delete hidden. And now let's see, I can work with this topology. I can start grabbing this portion. It works. Let's move it, it's a little bit it's not so we need to close it like this like this okay and now what we can do is uh, let's uh, create a duplicate and, uh, and then i'm going to use Select my tangle. I'm gonna have this. I'm gonna have this. I don't know what what is happening on the back, but I don't care because because we're not going to work on the back side. So I think like this is going to be good enough. Let's clip clip this. Instead of this, let's create a band a mask here invert the mask and uh, let's try make it try to make it more at this point it's not going to be necessary to make it 100 percent accurate because during the sculpting process we will be able to fix it and this should be here This part and this part should be here. You can see what kind of mess I'm creating because I was saying before I'm not working from the traditional topology uh, basics or knowledge, but, but, but I'm just trying to. To copy the shapes because at some point it's going to be necessary to change the topology to change the mesh using dynamesh using Siri measure so now at this point i'm just worried about i am getting more or less the same shape
Yes, I always I'm reading the chat or trying to pay us more attention to the chat. You maybe can can maintain the hemisphere and, and add the central shape of top. Yeah, this is what I'm gonna do. This is this is, this is the reason why I made a copy here. Because now that this we already have this, maybe it's gonna be easier if I remove the back side. Let's uh, remove it uh, on here. Let's delete hidden. And now we can start working with dynamic subdivision. Dynamic, don't apply in any smoothness. And then start working with uh, apply adding the thickness. Like this. And this is of the cylinder. This is what I was keeping this. This is as a main shape. And now I'm gonna, we're going to start creating the the necessary layers on top. Let's grab this. Make it wider. This. We're having a kind of issue here. Maybe it can be. And now it's not going to be necessary of having this let's make a duplicate just in case we can come back from history a little bit straight just leave this as a backup just in case it's going to be necessary to modify it or so let's uh, try to fix this this is very cool working with dynamic subdivisions because we are watching, we are seeing that we are having thickness, but we are not working with real thickness. We are just rendering all the thickness looks like. This is very handy because when we are changing the shape, we are just controlling uh, or changing one surface. This, okay, maybe we can try to make this straight, send it to the sides. Get more like this. This. Yes. Okay, I think it's going to be enough for now. Yeah, I know. I, I haven't got any knowledge about Blender. I, I, Yeah, we are having two pieces and we are going to have more than two pieces. And let's see, I think it's going to be necessary to make this thing wider. Just having like till here. Okay, like this. And what we can do is for, just for start, clean, start cleaning the topology. Let's try something. Uh, let's apply the dynamic subdivision. Let's create a copy first because I'm not sure if it's going to have success or not. So let's uh, apply. And uh, groups by normals. So we will have different polygroups based from normals. Uh, let's see, uh, we have here a problem. should fix fixed fixed this first and maybe let's change the okay let's see how it works now we can increase polygroups and let's start subdividing the mess we're having a problem here because we need the next crease here increased H, let's crease this, let's turn subdividing, okay, and we need another, one more here, I think why I can, I think it's going to be necessary to, I'm trying to change the polygroup here, polygroup, single polygroup, let's see if it works, it doesn't work, no, 
Yes, we are having a problem here, but then it's gonna work anyway. So it's not going to be a big issue that corner. So let's start the dividing. So, okay, we are having more topology, and now it's gonna be time for creating a new mesh. Silver mesher, same settings as before. Keeping groups. Let's say we want to take, we want to have the double. Have this. We can start polishing. And we missed. Okay, it's going to be necessary to create a new poly group here. Hmm. Maybe the reason why is because I'm using symmetry. Let me see. Delete. Okay, now it works. The reason why it was not working because I was trying to use the symmetry. And now it's gonna be time to start grouping the different sides. Mm, you. Do I want to be a one poly group? And um, that's it. And now I can increase, increase polygroup scan, start subdividing, and now create a new mesh. Okay, now better. And uh, here I'm having this kind of tension effect or problem here, and then is when my uh, primitive mind is start working, because if I'm having this kind of problem, instead of coming back and just start trying to fix the topology again and start fighting with the topology, I prefer uh, to start having, for example, this brush, the H polish, and I start polishing the surface with symmetry, of course. And this is my primitive way of working. So I don't care about topology. I'm just worried about how clean the shapes are, how perfect or how precise they are, and, and that's it. Get that with the back face. More face, more polishing. And that's it. Let's make it yeah, this a little bit thicker. Let's send it to the middle first. To be better, uh, we have a thicker piece there, and now we already have the thing or this kind of brim or already already made. Like this something like this. Uh, yeah. Before I start worrying about minimum problems like this, let's let's keep rolling let's keep working on it we already have this okay and we need three bands how can we do the band is this software free no it is not free you have to pay for it it's not like a blender you need to pay that subscription and uh, okay, that did not okay. That's working. Let's try to create the band. I think the shape is marked like ovoid shape, right? It has this more. Okay, more or less. So. How to create the bands? We can use the uh, another non-regular, or yeah, maybe we can create uh, another traditional uh, polygon modeling tool. I like to use a lot this brush, the topology brush. Very easy to use. We can. We are working with symmetry, and then we kind of start. Let me turn off the polyframe. We can just start painting the topology that, that we need. So crossing lines. It's 
cemetery. Okay, I think that's the reason why I'm using boolean. No, so let's no problem. Let's create another line here. Doesn't matter if they are not 100 straight because we can fix it later, and then we can start crossing lines. To, to we're gonna start creating the necessary topology. This longer entity here. Okay, let's uh, let's make it longer at the bottom too. Like this, then tap on the surface. And if you need a thicker piece, go to undo it. Make a brush size a little bit bigger. Let's make it thicker. Like this. Let's say a little bit more. Keep in mind that we're gonna create a dual piece where we should be worried about the thicknesses and the distances. Let's see how thick is this. I have it here 0.2 millimeter, almost 0.3 millimeter. That means that it's very, very thin for printing and for casting. Let's make it even thicker. And no, that is not going to be accurate from as the reference, but then it's going to be better. I did something wrong here i don't know why no i have in this okay let's remove this if you want to delete some lines just press the l key cross it now it's a little bit thicker let's make it a little even thicker like this now we can split mass points and now we, we can create a mirror and well to make it symmetrical, we can clip it to make it straight at both sides with the symmetry. Of course, I forgot to turn on the symmetry. And now we have this. Now let's make it wider like uh, this. We are ready. So let's uh, create the mask. And it should turn this on. So create the mask. And now clip this. Point, and that's it. We can clip this. Let's clip this, and now we are having the thing we want almost. Close it a little bit here. Better. Okay. So now let's change the topology. Before going to the serial measure, let's group my normal first. Now we are having a different polygroup for each phase. Let's create, uh, and now we can subdivide it first before go to the zero measure. Same settings as before. Double, adapt the size zero, smooth group zero, I keep groups. Now we have the right topology now. I didn't know about that brush. Looks great to make shapes following. Yeah, follow that. The, the good thing about this brush is you can follow the any any surface, and it is going to be very useful for many many different applications. Here I'm having a problem here because I think I'm gonna make a mask here. We'll be better to use this mask. I'm gonna mask this. Still using dynamic subdivisions here. Okay, so it's going to be better than to because I am. I was using the wrong, the wrong, <laughs> the wrong sub tool. Let's uh, uh, make a mask here with symmetry. So clip it. This now will be better. And now it's better than before. So let's repeat this same thing as, be as before. We can let's put this here. And maybe if we make a copy, duplicate of symmetry and we push it to the left till here 
And now what we can do is just clip this. No, it doesn't work. Why it, does, it doesn't work? Because where we are using the clipping brush, we are just pushing the geometry. We are not cutting the geometry. Maybe here it's going to be better to use the knife. Curve brush. have this but now we have a problem here with the topology not a big issue let's see if all the zebra measure works okay better so now here I'm gonna show you one trick or one process I don't like to call them trick because everything is already invented I didn't I haven't invented anything I'm just learning from other artists from other teachers so what you can what you can do for fix this you can see here the problem that i have in here is that i this instead of this shape i should follow the shape of the i need to make an angle here and the very hand very good way to achieve this is with the all transpose line instead of the gizmo you should turn off the gizmo and now using rotate with the alt key, you can rotate it in this way. Let me make it longer. Yep. That's it. And now mirror well. Let me read the questions. Uh, I think I prefer this method also. I'm making hard surface utility belt, but this is good for fitting. Yeah, I prefer, this is my, I like to call it my primitive way of working because I know that I'm not very technical. I'm just cutting things, messing a lot, the meshes, but uh, I prefer because my mind thinks about 3D printing. I'm not thinking about topology in terms of animation or in terms of baking maps or texturing. So maybe it's the main reason, the main reason why I'm working like this this way i'm just creating volumes and creating shapes not creating topology yeah if necessary you can mess with the top with the topology later if necessary but uh, in my case it's not going to be necessary because i'm going i'm going to create that object for 3d printing so hi leonor nice to see you here too yeah, transpose is very cool. I love the transpose. I'm a, um, I'm a transpose guy. So I'm an old school Zebras user. So I prefer m much more transpose that, than the Gizmo. It's much, I think for me it works or has much more uh, possibilities than the Gizmo. But anyway, both are, are very useful, but let's make this bigger. But I prefer, and I use a lot also this polish by feature just for apply again the tension. So let's uh, let's uh, clip this. No, not that much. Maybe it's going to be necessary to apply a mask to avoid problems in the corner. Yes. Maybe we can make it. Bigger. I think this it needs, this one needs to be thinner. Be more like this. I think we already have more or less the helmet. The helmet here we have, this is just a, a surface. I think it's going to be a good idea to close it. Yes, I think it's going to be, it's going to be good. I'm going to keep this as a, as a backup as well. Let's make a duplicate. 
let's uh, close holes. Let's change the. It is going. It's not going to be a big issue of having this topology here. But, but okay, let's make it anyway. Like this, and we are start having more or less the helmet, the upper part of the helmet. So let's fix things like this. Maybe we can. Flip it here should be here this way and uh, if I grab this this poly group maybe I can fix this or polish by feature and polish by feature touches. Uh, it will start having problems on the surface. H polish brush. And that's it. Hmm, I'm watching a problem now. Because this thing should be here. Be here and uh, then I need to I need to make this thicker again. Maybe having a, a curve here and also masking this part of the mesh. So use now the mask lasso. Okay, and now it needs to be wider. Very to ask. This. And think let's start making things, fixing things if necessary. Thing. now it's more precise than before so, so polishing and then again if we can clip it till here polish by feature and that's it let's keep it safe Hello, Sen. I don't know if I'm pronouncing well your name. I tried. Yeah, let's uh, create the little pics on top. I love them. This it adds a lot of personality, I think, to the helmet. I'm still watching problems here everywhere <laughs> no maybe you make it thicker like this so let's start creating the the pics we can do them in many ways but um, I will make it with the spheres let uh, insert a sphere. The sphere is there somewhere. Here, here it is. I can. We can push it like this. Now, you getting into the different options you have on the gizmo. Let's use the taper. This and this. Let's use the gizmo again. Let's make it longer like this and they are and there you go and it's they're going to be here here we will need to 
contains almost everything once we are going to need to fit the helmet on the ring position but so at this moment it's going to be enough just for having all the necessary pieces but we are not creating definitive um definitive uh, location or definitive shapes or because after i think it's going to be necessary to to adjust let's leave them here hmm. maybe they are closer to the front like this maybe you needs to be a little bit angled a little bit shorter like this let them mirror well and now uh, looks like uh, doesn't work so maybe it needs to be here more here and, uh, more something like this let's uh, remove the tips let's polish them and mirror well let's see the deadline is going to be the deadline, let me check it out. Maybe it's going to be the same day or maybe the day before. We go to community, Seaport Central. Maybe it will be here at the top. Blah, 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 blah. Behind the scenes, I got your best hardware file of our head. And Okay, the stream, the live stream, the special event will be the, the next Thursday, 4th. So, okay, try to post it the day before or two days before. I will post mine today. Or maybe try to post it maybe on Monday, Tuesday. I think it's going to be that just for being sure that uh, the necessary people is going to be able to watch your work. So don't, don't then try to don't post it some minutes before launching the live or the, the same day it's just my recommendation the day before but i think it will be better to try to try to post it two days before because you need to be sure that uh, a lot of people are, is going to watch your work because keep in mind that your work is going to be at the end of the list and during after some minutes it's going to be in the middle because I, i'm sure that many people are going to post uh, a lot of a lot of a lot of works but i think i'm gonna i'm going to post mine today because don't forget that uh, tomorrow paul will be here making another special streaming related to the same thing so if you go to the calendar here community heroes live and uh, we go to the calendar I think that tomorrow, Friday, uh, Paul will be here streaming, gearing up the event. So it's talking about. So maybe if your work is already are already there. Uh, maybe you're you, maybe you're going to have the chance to be uh, shown on the on the live stream. I don't know, but maybe it's going to be another possibility. this okay let's uh, start advancing so maybe the, the difficult things are going to happen but before I start going to the face let's start working on this let's uh, so I'm gonna make this uh, double click here let's select you need to come here let's try to create this this uh, this piece this part and it's gonna pin they're gonna pin they're gonna pin uh, a cylinder what is it here we'll put it here let's push it to the front let's rotate it 90 degrees let's make it bigger like this let's try to use this let's make it bigger make it bigger like this 
let's make it more transparent like this and we're gonna need to create something more like this let's push it this image to the left so now i think here we are going to need a tapered uh, cylinder taper without any strength here we will have something like this something like this or having a, a difference between the external the front and the rear uh, faces let's go back to the taper again because let's see if this looks like it's more like this okay uh, let's go now to groups by normals the modeler let's extrude this face let's make a QMS just for the polygroup having this and now let's grab a mask here invert the mask push it to the back push it down and same process let's see how the knife card brass works chip and now we are having yeah something similar to this let's see how the the series measure works now i like to just trying to get the or, or i'm still talking let's try it first so let's series measure with double amounts keeping the groups about this size zero and smooth groups to zero okay yeah. it works good enough now uh, let's move around well to make it symmetrical in this axis no in the z axis let's be in the middle Boop. and now see measure okay and now we are having this uh, shape and to start having this beveling that we're having on the back what we can do is well, as i said before my primitive way of working instead of I start trying to extrude rows of Uh, of rows or columns of um, of uh, of polygons, I always think about sticking or adding different forms and different shapes. So I kind of duplicate it. This I'm going to isolate this. Control Shift Tab, Delete Hidden, and now let's uh, extrude, make it thicker. Now we are having, let's hide the rest, let's put an arrow here, from here to here. That's it, it's here, no, oh, the other one is here, and it's to push it here. I did. That's why I'm just for any reason. See, so I did it hidden, repeat, same extrusion. Okay, now it works. I don't know what I did before. So let's make it thicker like this. Um you know what I mean. When I was talking about before, I'm start sticking things together or objects together just for having start having shapes. Then this thing needs to be thicker and needs to be closer to the edge. Like this, yeah. And now I can duplicate it and now I can make it a bit bigger. Start getting this kind of a stepping. Oh. 
lot of adjusting things. Then I need to cut this. I need to cut this. I need to cut this. I need to cut this as well. Need to push this down a little bit. Push it to the front. I mean, okay, the right position. Okay, so let me check the topology. Groups by normals. Uh, keeping groups double. This looks good. Did the same here thing here. Groups by normals. Theory measure. Now we are having. Thanks, man. Thanks. Glad you like it. I'm going to add uh, now another another um, now a uh, cube insert cube cube needs to be here and needs to be here be here in the middle let's make it longer let's push it to the back okay the grading on something like this long it's going to be necessary to make this long more or less and as i was saying before they are not definitive forms we are going to need to work on them once we need to adapt it to the ring let's look at this okay and now one thing one thing that i like to do when i'm working with um let's make this thing bigger Just for changing the topology, I group spy normals and now the same same amount. Adapt this side to zero. Uh, boo, boo, boo. Keep the groups, of course. I don't want to apply any smoothing on the surface. Now you have we have this. And we can using the C modeler, we can create a new polygroup here. this side of course it looks like it is wider as it is now it is closer more it's more like this part now we can We can do this and maybe we can slide this H to look here. And now we can QMS the polygroup all, we can push it back. And for having this kind of recessed area and it's going to be enough. And then what I'm gonna do is Let's just like a new, let's paint a new color here for a new polygon. This, it's like it longer. And now we can change the topology, groups by normal, crease polygroups, and uh, T group, same. Blah, 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 the same settings. In this case, it's going to be necessary to click on double. Yeah, we are having some issues, but, but we are still retained the shapes. And then for these shapes that we'll still need to create, 
think that uh, here we have a problem. Maybe I need to insert a new edge here, for example here. Let's grab this and let's make this thinner. Yeah, it's going to be it's going to be enough. And now I'm going to let's use the IMM primitives them now. Let's uh, I'm gonna use the cube cube to do the cube here. Let's split my points. Put it here. Let's push it to this way. Okay. This. And now I'm going to group by normals. I'm gonna only use this space. Let's delete the others, delete hidden. And now I'm going to insert uh, two more uh, sides. I'm gonna grab this and uh, this bird. Mm -hmm. No, I need one, two more. One more here, and one more here. And now I can grab you and you, and now I can extrude. Creating this, this shape. Let's make this not so tall. This, this, you. You and you and thinner. and now we can QMS polygroup all, and now we can now working with surfaces instead of with uh, solid pieces. In some cases, is going to be very useful. Here are the on the sides. Here I have this portion thinner. And I think it's not going to be a big problem because if I make it uh, bigger like this and I clip the wanted part, now it looks much better. Let's do it this back. Groups by normals again. Raise polygroups, hit divide, and Siri Messer, and now we are having the best game of the sword map. I don't know, this is a cool looking concept. I have not think it turned it off to do it. Yeah, I, I'm making a ring. The reason why here, all the Thursday here on my streaming, we are creating jewelry. So I was, I am making this. This is the concept of the, of the ring that I was talking at the beginning of the, the streaming. This is the main block blocking off the ring and this is going to how it will look like on here so I will create we are designing a ring based from the helmet design this is the reason why uh, it's because also the themes of uh, when all my streamings are related to jewelry designs not just for creating and other stuff for this, this at the top, it's bigger than the bottom, and then maybe it needs to be, yeah, more exactly like this. Okay, we already have, let's turn the rest. Maybe at the moment I'm not sure it is too big or too small. Let's wait. What I need is to put it closer to the helmet. Let's use the pizza boxes here and let's grab. Let's put tools together so we can move them. They, they will be maybe here, somewhere here. And then 
I'm watching that maybe this is too thick. It's going to be necessary to make it thinner. Well, let's see how it works because when we are wearing the ring, we need to be sure that we are not putting um, big parts because we're going to damage the fingers we, that are on the sides of the, the finger where we are wearing the ring. So this part could be problematic. Could be, could be. So maybe it needs to be push it in again. Maybe we can make it thinner, everything. Um, maybe we can clip this. Like this. Okay, we already have another part. Let's keep it safe. And let's, uh, let's start working on of the face. Let's start thinking about how can we do it. Just here my references on my second monitor. And what I'm watching here, always thinking about my, my primitive way of working is what I'm watching here, we don't have we ha we're having some corner here, sharp edges. And maybe what we can we can do it's going to be easier if we use this as one subtool and we can use this as another subtool instead of trying to create the the forms from the says or and the shapes from the same subtool or from the same mess i think it's going to be better to split the parts of the of the different layer levels or the different layers with uh, different subtools so then i'm gonna create this shape as one subtool and don't well it's not going to be necessary to create the the beveling first so i'm talking about this surface first oh we can do this well, can we do this as, uh, using the same method as before with the same brush? Let, I already have here the... Let's make it more transparent like this. Yeah, I already have the, the, the necessary surface. The surface needs to be... Maybe it needs to be more something like this. happening here um, let me fix this first with the back face and it's not 100 percent straight this now it's now it looks better and uh, let me make it longer. I think it's going to be necessary to make this thing longer. Like this. At this moment, we're not sure without the back face, but. Uh, Try to make things as bigger as possible, just in case if we need to cut them once we adapted the ring surface to don't miss the, 
material. So it's let's try to make things bigger because after we can we can remove the part that we don't need without problems. For example, here we need to. We are having here a wrong location. This this thing needs to be. This this thing needs to be more on top, right? It needs to be almost here. And then it needs to be here. Move that thing a bit as it is. Shape of the helmet. Okay. So uh, we already, I was saying before, uh, we already have this uh, shape. So we are going to use this as a base or start using the. Um, but I think it's going to be necessary to add more resolution first. So. Just for having a, a smoother surface, let's delete the subdivisions. Uh, we are going to use this brush, move topology, move topology. I'm sorry, the topology brush. I'm sorry. And so let's see how big this should be. More or less something like this. It needs to be bigger here put this up and put this here and we can start um, painting the the topology Here, another corner here, another corner here, another corner here. And now I need to use this. It goes here and goes there. And on the sides, it looks like uh, we can follow this shape, this shape, till around, yeah, more or less here. So we can start painting the, the polygons or drawing the polygons. Your comments. Yeah, we do not have a question at all about how you hollow out the model in mesh mixer. But how do you remove? How do I remove the back of the model using a boolean? So once you have the, the model hollow inside, the only thing that you need, for example, a cube or a sphere, or whatever you need, depends on the kind of design you are doing. You need to uh, use the live booleans to start cutting out the backside or the bottom parts or the internal part. We are talking about the ring. So I start using booleans. That's the answer. Now well, let's start creating the, the corners. We are having a problem here. I made something wrong. Let's undo it, undo it, and undo it. Because I need to start from here. Um, I would know. I would like to to have topology knowledge, but. Thing. as I'm doing it it should work I think let's see nope it should go here and it should go here 
needs to be here. I need to reboot this one. Like this. And now what can we do now here? Like this. Okay. So I think we already have more or less. Think about that we are starting. We are making a starting point. So it's going to be necessary to move things around to fix things. So we are not creating 100% accurate uh, forms in the first step. So it's going to be necessary to work a lot. So now I think it's almost ready. So I think we tape it. We already have the, the mask. So let's split mask points. I prefer to start working with only one single base or just a surf base. No, I did something wrong. So let's come back because I forgot to add this. I prefer to use this to start the splitting. If not, when well, we are subdividing. The mess, we're gonna have some problems but to be better of having you and you, you need to be only one here. Thing like this is going to be much better. We already have um um medium subdivision Um, a curved surface we're gonna need more polygons here and uh, I think like this it's now it's now it's much better so split mass points control shift tap on this polygon group poly group delete hidden and now it's time to start fixing with the move brush for example Just uh, fixing the the forms. And here we are having this shape. Come on, this is straight. Here is going to be a good idea to remove this. Okay, yeah, let me. Bye. Delete, delete, delete. Where are you here? It look complete. Maybe a little bit better to leave it like this. Let's put this. Save. One more question. Okay, I like questions. Uh, Faxer first. Uh, blah, 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 blah. What would be the difference between this method and extract a mask? Uh, this method, with this method, you could be more accurate in, ter in, ter in terms of you need to manage um, the forms on, on, on the shades more for being more precise. I think this method is much better because you are just painting the necessary polygons that you need to create the shape. And like we can say that with you, when you are extracting a form from a mask, it is more on a sculptural way of working with uh, because you are extracting much more polygons to work with so now you can uh, work with a different way here starting from a low resolution mess giving to you more control for managing for example the vertices the for having more sharper uh, sharper corners and more precise shapes but 
with both methods you can almost achieve the same thing but in this, in this time i prefer to use to do this because i was thinking about these bevels that we have inside this bevel that looks they looks very tricky i'm talking about this this beveling that we are having here Trip, trip. These bevels we are having here, they look very tricky to make. And maybe with this method, it's going to be easier to achieve this instead of starting from an extraction from a mask. Let's see. Let's see. I hope I'm not mistaken. Hold on. Let's uh, send it to here. Uh, oh yes, asking one more question. Who do you give even dumbness to a planner surface? For example, if we make a leaf, a leaf pendant, how can it get the surface to be evenly raised? I'm not sure what you mean. How do I give dumbness? a planner surface just saying look no oh do I done this do you mean uh let me know if I'm this is correct for example you're starting from this this shape and you are talking about to create this kind of shape so just pushing this up for having this kind of dome shape from a flat surface are you talking about this and uh my name is asking how do i keep order line perfect this perfect line so we are gonna use creased polygroups for or get the 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 shapes completely straight and sharp so the, the answer to your question is polygroups and creased edges okay you are talking about that for example let's create a, a quick example because you were talking about the leaf for example if i use uh, for example this brush and we create uh, something like a leaf something like this right so I split mass points this is so we are starting from this point it's completely flat straight like a piece of metal or like a piece of wood so let's make change the topology first we already have three different polygroups so if we go to zero measure trying to get the same amount uh, just in the size keeping the polygroup without any smooth thing, smoothness so we have here so the answer to your question is Try to split the different faces into different polygroups. Then what you can do is now control and tap on this polygroup. Now the other will be masked. Now you can start growing the mask. You can go to masking, grow, start, you can start growing the mask. You can start fading the mask or blurring the mask, blurring the mask, and now you can oop, fade this. And then you will have this kind of shape so the answer to your question is polygroups start managing different polygroups so i start splitting the different surfaces into different polygroups so you will be able to manage them individually to apply a mask to isolate a border so start, start making many many different things let me know if your question has been answered or not <laughs> now it has ears. <laughs> it looks like now like a Grogu helmet looking <laughs> or something. <laughs> Let's hide the ears, of course. Yeah. I'm watching now that the helmet maybe is too narrow. It needs to be make it uh, wider. That's no problem. 
we can send it to the center. Where am I? Like uh, or like this. And now uh, uh, so we can hide this. Uh, how to keep all the oh yeah i was i already answered that okay you're welcome glad to help you so okay let's start fixing things here what i did here i did something wrong why do i have two pieces here this is the one i don't want to use this one okay this is the one that i did before okay. So let's delete this one. Let's come back to this. And then let's start uh, fixing things. Maybe it needs to be needs to be a little bit lower. This needs to be needs to fit here. Work. There is a little gap between the two parts, so let's look at like this. Maybe, 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 maybe. There is a very another. There are a lot of. I think um, I have a problem here. Man, the problem is that uh, you can see here we have there is a gap between when I was. Painting the topology with with symmetry, but for any reason, the the point were were not joined together. But this is a very uh, simple thing to do. Just clicking here, well points will be enough. But you can see, if you click a well point, nothing happens. You need to go to modify topology here and increase the well distance. That and that's it. Now there, now we only have only one one surface and now what I'm gonna do now I'm going to use the max mask uh, border to apply a mask to the border and now that will allow me to uh, with the with the with the topological yeah to make this thicker thicker or thinner hmm something like this maybe they need to be here of course I can see the distance from this point to this point is not the same I having from this point to this point but uh, we are designing a ring maybe things is going to be necessary to be more closer together or I can move this back, the whole thing to the left if necessary. At this point, it's not going to be very important. This, but maybe just for watching things better, we can and wrap all of the necessary pieces here. And push it to the back. It should be here somewhere around here. Now we are going to need more to be necessary to make this thing here. <laughs> what I want you now is because maybe it's not going to be a problem. Oh, yes. Let's see. I'm. I'm um, I have seen that uh, here we have a problem because we are having this line goes from here to here but this line goes from here to here we already have but the line continues till here 
So we are gonna need more something like this shape. So we need to create this shape. And uh, what can we do? So let me, we can start using this process. Let me see if I remember it well. There is a way that we can start extruding faces or extruding sides for creating new faces. With the C modeler, stay in here, extrude move, troop. We can start extruding things. This is very cool. And now we can. Uh, uh -huh. How much? It's going to be necessary to start extruding. One, two, three, till the bottom, right? Yes, till, till the bottom. One more. More. Uh -huh. Yeah, I think it's going to be enough like this. So let's make it. Uh, chill here. This is a very cool option for creating topology. And you can see you can there the them edges are magnetized or you can see how it's at the same time you are creating the new uh, polygon you can uh, create a, a closed uh, surface not closed surface um continuous surface I'm always struggling in my mind to try to find the right words in English. I'm sorry about that because I, I try to do my best with the English, but I know that something sometimes is difficult to understand me. I know, I know. Okay, I think we already have this. And uh, this, the bottom part, is going to be necessary to make it then wider and now what I, we can do is to put the gizmo here and then we can change the for creating this this uh, this shape what time is it okay um, 20 minutes or 30 minutes so oh, well we'll start having the necessary pieces we can do that in Arkham and yeah, of course, you can do this in Arkham on Reno. But the interesting thing about this, uh, or not only my streaming, of course, but the others, other streaming we are having here on the Pixel Logic channel is that uh, we are showing the way to do the same thing in Zebras because I only the knowledge that I have is only about Zebras, I don't use any other software like you said like Arkham, Rhino or whatever well, there are so many ways to do the same thing but it's up to you for using the this is the helmet and now uh, 3D modeler but you don't see that though <laughs> yeah that's your rare factor I'm not a big fan of C modeler I know that there is a it is a very powerful tool but I my experience about two knowledge uh, about C modeler I'm sorry is very limited so I'm more you know in the, the sculpting side so I prefer to use a sculpting process and that is stuff but I always try to push myself to try to learn uh, C modeler because you can do a lot of things and most of the time you can do them with a simpler way instead of a sculpt always being a sculpting and a sculpting surfaces but okay let's start uh, creating the thickness da, 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 where i am where i am so let's start dynamics of the vision let's turn this on 
as you said before, some of you, because you were worried about uh, the edges. So remove the smoothing. So uh, we are uh, having back the edges sharp again. So let's just start playing thickness, 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 thickness thickness but the good thing about this thickness is we can decide if we want the thickness from the, from the zero from the surface to the outside or from this from the surface to the back side in this case it's going to be not 100 percent to the back side but we can control with the offset you can see with this how cool is this you can see 100 percent to the back side but let's say 25 minus 25 right or minus 90 minus 90 again okay like this and let's make it uh, not that much thinner like this uh, depends on okay let's see if we have a success with the bevel Let's keep this safe as the original form. Let's make a duplicate. Let's keep this as the original. And then once we have this, another good thing about the, um, to start create, uh, creating thickness with the dynamic subdivision method is you can control the segments. You can see now we only have, we don't, we haven't got, we don't have any, any, any segment. Now, when we are talking about segments, we are talking about from this point to this point we can split this into two more uh into two columns just clicking here number two we're having one we're splitting the surface in two in two columns three columns four and so on but it depends on the thing that you need to create sometimes it's useful and sometimes not in this case it's not going to be necessary to apply any segment because as we are looking for creating a a bevel it's going to be much better to leave it as it is without any segments without segments so let's now let's apply the dynamics of division and now what i'm going to do is i'm going to apply a mask to this border to this edge to this one to this H only to that H again with the C modeler that you can stay here now we want to create a transpose H loop complete okay so click it here and now we can do this let's start creating the beveling like this uh, let's uh, remove this with the move brush. I made it to thin. Let's repeat it again. I did something wrong, so create a mask. Oh, let's come back again. Undo, 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 undo. Well, we're starting from the from the initial point. Okay. So let's create uh, the mask. Okay, let's apply it. Let's create the mask. Instead of resize with the regular, we can do this. Use the control key to inflate it. And we will start creating the bevel. In some parts, it's going to be necessary to fix it manually. here in this corner back in here to be this needs to be more something like this and uh, yeah I think it's good enough we have less bevel here We need a bevel, we don't need any bevel here. This, and we need to a bigger bevel here. Like 
bigger one here and we need a bigger one here as well. Yes, to start creating this shape. This shape. I am working on this. Yeah. Thicker to thinner. This one here, come here, come here. This look try to make as more great as possible. You know what I mean now about the segments. The reason why you can apply a polysmer feature. No, it's not the, the moment because we are using a very low resolution mess yet. Make this thicker. This. Maybe it's going to be time to start creating polygroups. Let's see how it works if I we click on groups by normals. Let's reduce the angle. Okay, now that's better. Maybe we increase the polygroups and we use the dynamic subdivision but without the thickness by smoothing. We are start getting you can see the necessary shapes. It is not 100% okay because here I'm having some. Let's increase all first, increase polygroups again. Now it works, now it looks better. And now it's time for keep uh, refining the. Uh, this is again uh, transpose here. Just keep him uh, freezed or masked the other edges. This is an option that I use a lot the transpose. This needs to be. Refine it and refine it, but at this moment it's not good. Okay, but we already have the the, uh, the shape or the the main shape, right? We apply some polygon feature. Yeah, yeah, we can. But let's keep it like it is. And uh, let's uh, put it in place here. this oh, the top part we can do is it's going to be underneath the it be inside Uniform distance. And now it's just a matter of just being fixing and uh, refining shapes, refining forms, but uh, we are start getting the main shapes, right? So, 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 so. Looks like, uh, like this goes. It is not straight, it has a kind of... It has a kind of angle. Yeah. Yeah. 
Okay, we can work in. And then this needs to be also fixed. Oops, what I did, something. Okay, remember that we are just making half of the helmet. We are not looking for to create a whole helmet because we want to create a ring. But okay, at this point it's, it's, it's good enough. I did something here that I destroy the bottom part. I don't know why. Uh, because I had some uh, mask, a mask there applied on a surface that was not necessary to have that mask. Blur the mask, invert the mask, and now we can rotate it. Rotate it and push it back. And push it to the front. Because I think it has this shape. It is an endless work for being here tweaking and tweaking things. Okay, okay. Let's start creating this uh, this surface that we are having here a flat plane. Maybe it's going to be a good idea if we use a cube. I'm gonna use this uh, to make one thing first. I'm gonna create a if we can do this let's create a duplicate now here let's use this surface let's delete hidden and let's extrude this face Use the same thing here. Let's uh, go into the bottom. Smaller. And <clears throat> I think it's going to be necessary to taper it. Enter. Taper. Yes, but uh, the problem is that we are having, no, it is not a big, it is not a good idea. I think it's going to be better because here we have a sharp, a straight uh, edge that we are not having a, a curve as I already have here. I think it's going to be better to use a, uh, let's delete, delete this. As I said before, let's uh, delete this. And let's create, um, let's append and, um, a cube. Append cube here somewhere. Where is it? Oh, here it is should be here and I'm gonna create uh, I'm gonna initialize the cube just for getting a, a small amount of polygons instead of this a low topology cube going to initialize Q cube and uh, let's see if I like this only with without the eight bases Frame it. Let's make it bigger. It's bigger. This. And now let's taper it. We can use a mask. This big. 
this. You can see now the reason why I initialize the queue because now I can manage like this and then it should be individual faces and individual sides, individual vertices. So of all the shape that I'm looking for. It's going to be much better. Mm -hmm. And it's to be bigger till we are adjusted. Let's see how far I need to go. Maybe I need to open the top part. This. a little bit and that's to be software here Long word for a tenant over to the game, of course, it looks perfect now. No, no, no. Yeah, this, uh, yeah, things takes time, you know, or or at least to try to make it good, to make them good or as good as possible for you of your criteria. But, uh, yeah, maybe it's, uh, I, I enjoyed, I'm being honest, I enjoyed less this kind of works than more organical works where I can have, when I have a better time in sculpting um, with, uh, with brushes. But in some cases, it's necessary to do this job. I will show you now what uh, I'm going to post. And it is 100%. One of the, the things that I'm going to post on the, the May the 4th thread is 100% uh, hard surface like this. It is a, also a helmet. 
and I suffer a lot making it. A year, some years ago, some years ago. But uh, at the end, it's a matter of time. It is not symmetrical, right? Yeah. Let's mirror and well. But I think it is already almost. I think it's it works. It is from. Okay, let's uh, write down groups by normals. Let's uh, use the C modeler. Work this part. same things as before. Okay, well, but we're going to start getting, start having the helmet. Okay, and let's see how it looks like with perspective. Because maybe it may, for maybe it looks wider, the original. Not sure, but maybe yes. Maybe this thing is always the you'll need the other side, but I think it looked good right away. Fixing things. I will work on this during the rest of the week, my free time. Still having the whole thing, all the sign complete. And I will post it on my social media and, of course, on the Zebra's uh, forum thread. About uh, Star Wars. Okay, let's save it. And uh, let's make a recap, a summarize, or make an overview about uh, what we are doing. So we uh, we were we are trying to create this ring or trying to get this kind of ring where here we're going to have the helmet like this and this will be it is not going, it's not going to be a straight it's going to be a little bit angle for being easier for for wearing like this and uh, this is what we have so far let's see who it looks like with the hand This is what we have at the moment. Of course, the hand it's going to be it's not going to be this way, and it's to be a little bit angle, but will be more something. It will be more or less something more like this. This is what what we will have. So with the band, with the rain, with the Helmet completed. Let me buy a record the material here. Let's see what it looks like with uh, this one having this kind of copper material, right? Now let me use this one. This is the the thing. 
with him. Yeah, always having a hand as a reference for knowing that the things that we are doing is going to, it's going to fit on the hand. It's going to be comfortable to wear. It's going to look nice on the hand because sometimes when we are working on the screen, even when we are working with uh, on a big screen with a huge uh, object just in front of us, um, it's very useful having real references when we are talking about creating jewelry designs. For example, a mannequin, a hand, or something that uh, we are doing, it's going to have it's going to have sense when we are going to wear the piece or that's me that's it this is going to this is going to be the idea right do, 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 do. okay let's save this and i'm gonna show you and i'm gonna show you stuff that i'm gonna post on the on the thread One helmet and one character. I will post this. This helmet. I did this. I did it a, a time ago. Uh, it is 100%. Our surface with the same techniques, I started creating meshes, cutting things with a clip brush, I start creating polygroups, crease edges, uh, extruding faces, sculpting things, a lot, of, a lot of things, a lot of things, a lot of sub tools. It was split into many different sub tools. You can see this only this part was split in different in different parts and different poly groups and so till having this this helmet and it was poly painted just for for the purpose of, of this week and I, then I'm going to show you the other character that I'm going to post is this one let me find it it will it would be this Character, another character that I did a time ago. When I completed, just for what did this is the a new work. <laughs> this character, okay. Okay, let's come back to the. the hand find it and hope you like the the streaming hope you will you found it useful leave your comments just in case you have any comments or remaining questions and I'm very glad for being here with you. I think I will be here again two weeks ahead or even more. I know I'm not sure now. We're making more jewelry redesigns with you. And um, that's it. And that's it. And uh, we'll see you here in the future with more things about zebras and jewelry. So take care, enjoy your day, the rest of the week, the weekend and everything. So bye, goodbye, take care everyone. Thank you, bye.